all new electric cars you should wait to buy in 2023. Welcome to our U.S. Cars Review Channel. My name is Mike, and I'll be your guide to the world's best automobiles. To see more, hit that subscribe button right now and become a part of our awesome family. The advent of electric vehicles is one we have beheld with delight. Several brands have hopped into production of these cars, and 2022 in particular was a big year for EVs. Several of these EVs made their debut in the market and sold in great numbers. However, with the year gradually coming to an end, most of the focus has shifted to 2023. What do these EV manufacturers have in store for us next year? Will 2023 bring about more affordable EVs? Will these EVs have more range come next year? In this video, we'll talk about some of the best all-new electric cars due in 2023. Stick around till the end of the video to find out which brands make it to the list. 2024 Honda Prologue In a year, Honda will start ramping up production of its first electric vehicle for North American roads. The Honda Prologue electric crossover is anticipated to debut in the middle of 2023 as a 2024 model, and I'm sure a lot of people can't wait for the Prologue to finally launch. To be honest, Honda put off entering the EV market for much too long. Even though many contend that Honda's choice to concentrate on hybrid powertrains was a wise one for their sales and financial health, the delay ultimately led Honda to search for strategic partners as a route to electrification. Honda and General Motors are collaborating closely on the 2024 Honda Prologue to include the same Ultium powertrain found in the Chevy Silverado EV into Honda's first American-made EV. The relationship between Honda and GM continues after that. The Honda Prologue will be powered by GM's Ultium electric platform and GM will construct the Prologue EV from scratch. The big question that has been on everyone's lips is, is the Prologue even a Honda at all? It's beginning to resemble Chevrolet's Equinox EV with a Honda label. But that's not a bad thing. I'll explain why. Why are we so hyped about the Honda EV, which is actually a Chevy with a Honda badge? Everything revolves around the Ultium platform's potential and hope. What is there to be excited about? Listen closely. Charge times of under 30 minutes are possible with ultra-fast charging up to 350 kilowatts. Engineering innovations that have increased the Ultium powertrain's efficiency are to thank for this. And it is also possible that a new type of heat pump will be included. 2023 Fisker Ocean Fisker's first attempt at vehicle manufacturing was a huge failure. The first batch of electric sports cars from the Fisker Karma line was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy's saltwater floods in 2012. But Fisker didn't give up. They continued to call their next car the Fisker Ocean. The Ocean is an electric crossover that aims to satisfy three market demands that EV automakers have so far found difficult to combine in a single electric model. A range of more than 300 miles, a variety of features, and a reasonable price. With objectives like these, it almost seems like the Fisker Ocean is on course to become an electric Subaru Forester. Drivers who do not like commitment will surely find this offer from Fisker intriguing. They have an interesting Fisker Flexi lease option, whereby you can lease the ocean for $379 a month with no long-term commitment. You can hand back the car at any time. It's essentially a long-term rental with no strings attached. Cool offer, right? The Fisker Flexi lease has a $2,999 down payment and offers up to 30,000 miles of annual mileage. Repairs are taken care of. To me, it appears to be a fantastic deal. Here's a little rundown of what to expect from the ocean. Before incentives, the starting price is $37,499. Depending on the settings, between 200 and 250 miles of range. Innovative design that's also ready for exploration. 
Audi A6 e-tron. The business used to be best known for its swanky sedans like the A6, but nowadays every other Audi you see is a jacked up sports utility vehicle. The upcoming most recent generation A6 will have an e-tron electric variant, proof that the company hasn't given up on them. A few years ago, a prototype surfaced that was barely camouflaged as a four-wheel drive concept car with two motors that produced 469 horsepower and offered supercar level performance first. Expect to see production models with twin motors as well as a softer two-wheel drive A6 e-trans. With 800 volt technology similar to the Porsche Taycan, rapid charging will be available. The A6 e-tron will have sucked up enough energy to travel roughly 200 miles in around 10 minutes when connected to an adequate rapid charger. After 15 minutes, it will have absorbed up to 80% of the charge. To help keep the Audi cooler so that its air conditioning doesn't have to work as hard, even the paint has been engineered to reduce drag and deflect solar radiation. The car is built to efficiently cut through the air. We don't know if the prototype's headlamp technology, which can project text and even videos, will make it into production vehicles, but it would undoubtedly give the Tesla Model S a run for its money. Its price should be at least 50,000 pounds. Ford SUV. Having rolled out the first EV earlier on, Ford will add a second electric vehicle to its lineup in the form of an as yet unnamed SUV crossover. Ford's new vehicle will be built on Volkswagen's MEB platform, which is the foundation for all of the German manufacturer's EV vehicles, owing to a technology sharing agreement the two companies reached two years ago. The new model is anticipated to use the same battery pack and motor. It is expected that we will be let in on the full details before the end of 2022. However, 50 kilowatt and 77 kilowatt battery packs with power outputs up to 201 horsepower would be available in that case. Ford previously said that it would produce two vehicles on the MEB platform, with hints that the second vehicle would be a sportier type with a more coupe-like appearance. Ford's Cologne facility, which is undergoing a multi-million euro renovation as the manufacturer shifts its focus to electric cars, has already been designated for production. 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV Searching for a single electric pickup truck for sale was a future effort by this time last year. The electric pickup truck debate was sparked by Tesla's Cybertruck in 2019, but other automakers are considerably closer to commercializing electric vehicles. Deliveries of the adventurous Rivian R1T have begun in earnest, while the GMC Hummer EV is gradually making its way into buyer's hands. Now, the little problem here is that these two premium options are more expensive than most drivers can afford. That is exactly where the all-new Chevrolet Silverado EV and the Ford F-150 Lightning, both of which are currently for sale, come in. The electric Silverado is more than simply a regular truck with an electric motor in place of the V8. It is far more powerful and competent than that. Exorbitant dealer markups have already crushed the aspirations of F-150 Lightning purchasers. A cheap electric truck is frequently sold to the highest bidder, contrary to expectations. Late next year, will the Silverado EV experience the same fate? It seems reasonable given that Ford, not GM, is the car maker publicly working on a solution to stop EV dealer markups. Notwithstanding, this electric vehicle promises to be all shades of powerful and fantastic. 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV A good number of EV lovers are quite excited over the 2024 Chevy Equinox, and you really can't blame them. Just the prospect of an affordable EV is enough to get everyone pumped up, and that is exactly what this Chevy offers. The average EV sells for $56,000, a whole $10,000 more than the average combustion-powered vehicle. 
Should consumers in the market for an affordable EV be confined to the range and charging limits of the Chevy Bolt and Nissan Leaf? In 2022, they are. We hope GM follows through on its promise to bring a truly affordable EV to the masses next year. We're excited for what's to come, thanks to GM's $2.3 billion joint venture with battery tech giant LG Chem, which is already making an impact. Enthusiastic social media posts from CEO Mary Barra are how we have learned everything we know. And we're going to drop what we know about the impending Equinox and Blazer EVs right now. The Equinox EV will cost about $30,000 to start. Is it possible that they're setting their pricing due to inflation and the lack of an update to the EV incentive? Also, the following generation Ultium platform will power both the Equinox and the Blazer EV. The Equinox EV will be available in fleet and retail models too. The Blazer EV will shortly be joined by the Equinox EV when it arrives at Chevy dealers in the fall of 2023. The story just keeps getting better and better. We look forward to 2023 with eagerness, and we can't wait to get our hands on these sleek machines. I'd love to know, which of these EVs caught your attention the most? Which do you rate over the others? I'll be in the comments section reading what you have to say. Till next time, gracias!